Hello, people. Good evening. Hello, Eric, Danette, Jennifer. Hello, good Hello. evening, teacher. Christopher, okay, good. It's good to see you. Thank you for connecting on time. Well, it's 9.01, it's time to take attendance, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, just give me a moment. I'm looking for the list it's here. And I'm going to start with Alejandro Jovel Cartagena. Alejandro Jovel? No yet. Ana Elizabeth Garcia Rivas. Ana Elizabeth Garcia? Okay. Andrea Sanchez? Betania Lopez? Braulio Velasquez? Present teacher. Present teacher, present, sorry. Okay, thank you. Um, Carlos Martinez? Carlos Martín. Ok. Claudia María García. Claudia Yesenia. Christopher Peña. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Christopher. Christopher, eh, sorry, Damaris Isabel. <coughs> Denis Gutiérrez. Doribela Riaza. Teacher, ella me comentaba de que, de que va manejando, pero que ya se va a incorporar. Ok, thank you. Elisa Sandoval. Emanuel Portales. Eneida Ramírez. Eric Herrera. Present. Thank you. Fernando Arturo Mendoza. Eh, Irma Adriana Segura. Presente. Thank you, Irma. Irma Zuleima Grande. Present teacher. Thank you, Irma. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño. Janet Rosibel Río. Jennifer Marisol Iraeta. Okay, Jessica Susana Manchang. Jimmy Ramos. Okay. Teacher, Clau Teacher Claudia Maria Garcia. Present. Okay, Claudia. Será que no la mencioné? Eh, me conecté exactamente cuando mencionó a, a, a la otra persona que se llama Claudia. Ah, ok. <laughs> ok. Well, we have just a few people, just few people in the class this evening. Well, thank you for connecting on time, for being responsible. Yeah. Remember that your attendance is very important. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos, Alberto. I, I'm here. Okay, Carlos. Thank you. Well, so let me share with you the presentation for this evening. So this is the lesson number five and the topic is prepositions of time. We have two objectives for this class. Carlos Alberto, would you like to read the two objectives, please? Perdón, teacher, no lo escuché bien. If you can read the two objectives. Que lea. Read your objectives. Vale, eso. Ok, read. In this lesson, you will listen to conversation where time expression are first introduced. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify, identify and use a time expression, such as preposition of, of time and adverb of time. 
Thank you. So that okay. is the topic, right? Time expressions and prepositions of time. We are going to have recalling previous knowledge, prepositions of time, time expressions, and wrap up. So let's start with recalling previous knowledge. We have a question, what do you do every day? So in this moment, I want you to type in, in the chat, use the chat via Zoom and answer the question, what do you do every day? So please let me know, what do you do every day? Type in the, in the chat, please. Tell me, what do you do every day? For example, well, I take a shower every day, definitely. In complete or full sentences, please, Braulio. You can say, I go to work, go to work at 5.30 a.m. Please go ahead. Oh, we do many things. You drink coffee every day, Anna. How many cups of coffee do you drink, uh, Irma? Okay, somebody said, I drink soda every day. Wow, that's not so healthy. <laughs> Damaris, I try to work, I eat breakfast, I eat pizza every day. Really, Braulio? Wow, that's not healthy. Every day is not good. <laughs> I sleep every day, I do exercise every day. Okay, if you do exercise, that's nice. What else? Let's see. I go to the gym every night. Um, I okay. Let's see what else we have here. I take a shower. I go to the gym. I drink soda. I take my dinner. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Now the next question is. What do you always do in the morning? What do you always do in the morning? What is something specific that you do in the morning? Well, in my case, I always have a cup of coffee in the morning. I need a cup of coffee to start the day. Also, I always say goodbye to my husband when he leaves for work. I got up at 5, at 5 a.m. I drink water every morning. Yes, drinking water is good for your kidneys. Take a shower every morning. I walk every morning. That's nice, Eddie. What else do you do in the morning? Oh, Adriana, I always eat fruit. That's healthy. I always say goodbye to my cats. Oh, Christopher, that's so sweet. <laughs> well, I always feed my cats in the morning. Yes, feed my cats. I exercise in the morning, okay? I do, you do exercise, good. Okay, and the next question is, what do you usually do in the afternoon? What do you usually do in the afternoon? Do you have coffee and Bread in the afternoon. 
coffee and pastries. Oh, take a nap. I also take a nap, Anna, if it's possible. I have to take a nap. I usually take a nap. I always feed my cats in my bed. <laughs> okay, Christopher, how many cats do you have, Christopher? The Mari is trying to use a complete sentence. I, I feed my pet. Braulio, I play with my daughter. Oh, how old is your daughter, Braulio? I usually go to the church in the afternoon. Okay, Eric. I sometimes drink soda. And I check my social networks. I read a book. I read a book. Can you say? Nice. Okay, the next question is, what do you never do in the evening? What do you never do in the evening? For example, okay, you have to cut. I never eat fish or see or fish soup in the evening. I never go. I never go uh, to a bar. <laughs> Okay, just my kids. I sometimes clean a yard, okay. Christopher, I usually lose my kids. In the afternoon, I train with my son. Okay, Janet. But what do you never do in the evening? Never, never. You never cook in the evening, Adriana? If so, how do you have your... Your dinner. Okay, Jennifer, I go for a walk with my dog. Yes, but what do you never do? Anna, I never drink milk, okay? I never eat dinner after, after 10 p.m. Oh, okay, Irma, your mom cooks the dinner. <laughs> you never drink coffee, Jessica. Okay. You never go to work, okay? Well, I have to work in the evening <laughs> and in the morning. And I never clean the house in the evening because I do it in the day, during the day. Okay, you never wash at night. You never wash your clothes. Okay, interesting. Thank you for your answers. It was very nice to, to read your sentences, your ideas. Janet, I never wear skirts. I never eat fish in the evening, in the evening. Okay, very good. Now, let's learn about prepositions of time. Uh, this evening, we are going to study uh, the most important prepositions of time, which are in, on, at. In, on, at. Okay? So, we have here, for example, um, these sentences. I get up at seven in the morning or weekend. We are using the three prepositions, but as you notice, we use at for time or hour, in for the time of the day, in the morning, a specific day, on weekdays, okay? I leave work early in the afternoon on Thursdays. I work early. What does early mean? 
¿Qué significa early? Temprano. Ok, temprano. I leave work early. Ok, number three. I go to bed around 11 in the evening on weeknight. So, what does around mean? Around. Alrededor. Alrededor. Exactly. Exactly. Alrededor. Alrededor. No importa. Right? We can say, me voy a dormir por las. 11, y como por las 11, right? We speak like Salvadorian people. <laughs> Speaking like Salvadorian. Okay, the other one is I get home late at night on weekend. What does late mean? Tarde. Okay, I get home late at night on weekend. I stay up until midnight on Friday. They are until. What does until mean? Hasta. Hasta. Me quedo despierto hasta la medianoche los viernes. Okay. I stay up until midnight on Friday. Then we have I exercise before noon on Saturday. What does before mean? Antes. Antes. Uh -huh. Before noon on Saturdays, I wake up afternoon on Sunday. After means? Después. Después. After means después. Okay? So as you notice, we use at for time, in, period of time, on a specific day. And we have the other expressions, early, around, late, until, before, and after. Now, expressing clock time. We want to express clock time. We say seven o'clock in punto, o'clock. Also, we can use the expression sharp, sharp, seven sharp, seven a.m. 7 in the morning, 7 p.m., 7 in the evening. Okay, so in this moment, what period of the day is it? Morning, afternoon, or evening? Evening? We are in evening. the evening, exactly. That's why when we start the class, when we start the class, we say good, Evening. Good All evening. Night. Exactly. Good evening. Good evening. But when we finish the class. Good night. Good, good night. night. Exactly. Why? Why good night? Eh, uno sería como cuando uno se presenta a un lugar y el otro cuando uno se despide. Exactly. When we say hello, we say good evening. Right? Buenas noches. But good night means buenas noches but to say goodbye de despedida i'm not going to see the person again until the next day so i say good night that's why when we start the class good evening when we finish the class good night okay it's okay teacher okay got it so let's change the good word let's do this exercise we have you will help me you have to tell me what is the correct preposition in each sentence. Okay, so we have, I get up at six. I get up. On weekdays. On weekdays, exactly. Okay, number two. I, I have I lunch. At. at, because we have a time. I have lunch at 11.30. On Mondays. On Mondays, that's right. Number three, I have a snack. Around. Around. Around 10. At night. At night. At night. Okay, number four. On 
school Friday. Friday. I leave school. I leave school early. Early. Number five. I stay up. On two. On two. On two. On 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 to, on to, to, on to noon. Oh. <laughs> on to noon. On Sundays. On Sundays. Sundays. Okay, number seven. I have dinner uh -huh. at, at seven. Um, at seven. On weeknights. Exactly, on weeknights. Okay, number eight. I read a book. After I go to sleep. Before. 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 I'm so sorry. Okay, before. Okay, number nine. On um, weekends. On weekends. At. 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 At 1 a.m., right? At 1 a.m. Bed at 1 a.m. At 1 a.m. Number 10? On Thursdays. Mm -hmm. On Thursdays. Yeah. I leave work at, at 9 p.m. On Thursdays, I leave work at 9 p.m. Number 11. I work like... Mira, ¿y tú dónde estás? Sorry, Ana. No. Late. I work late on Wednesday. And number 12. I, I study around. I study around 11. After? No. After? Yes, this is after, after. dinner. Okay. <laughs> Very good, people. Excellent. You can use the prepositions of time very well. So now we have a conversation here and I will read the conversation for you and I need you to please pay attention to the pronunciation because later you will practice. You will practice it with a partner. So let's go. It says, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come here at 10. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is. What do you do exactly? I'm a chef. I work at the pink elephant. That's my favorite restaurant. By the way, I'm Kim. Okay, so these two people are talking. Where? What are they talking? What are they? Where are they? The gym? At the gym, exactly. At the gym. Exactly. What time do they do exercise at the gym? Uh, okay. 10. Kevin. Around 10. Around 10. Around 10. Around 10. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, in the morning. In the morning, yes, 10 a.m. What is Alice's job? What does she do? She is a chef. She's a chef. She's a chef. Exactly. Okay. So now you're going to go to the break rooms and you will practice the conversation with a partner. Remember, this is important because you can practice your pronunciation, your intonation. Remember, when questions, the intonation is different. Okay. What do you do exactly? Okay, so try to do that. Practice with your partner. 
<laughs> I will send you the picture. Hola, Damari. Practicamos. Hola, soy Jennifer. Ah, Jennifer. <ríe> Damari me aparecía. Perdón, Jennifer. ¿Cómo estás? Ya nos toca siempre, ¿verdad? <ríe> <ríe> bueno, vamos a practicar. Perfecto. Usted o yo. Un tele. <ríe> yo, Kevin. Uh -huh. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah. I don't. I usually come here at 10. Really? What time do you go to work? <clears throat> es el que está eh, en el grupo, está. La eh, captura no se la, no se la tomaste, vea. Va. No, pero ahí está en el, en el grupo. Ajá. Ah, vaya, ahorita ya ingresé, listen en the practice. Vaya, Kevin y Ali, vea. Sí. ¿Inicio o tú inicias? Voy a iniciar. Voy a hacer Va. Kevin. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come, come on here at uh, 10. Uh, Vaya, si gusta, empiezo yo. Bueno. Ok. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come here at 10. Really? What time do you go to work? Hey, ya nos responda la teacher porque yo tampoco sé. <laughs> ya entró la teacher, ya entró. Hello, how can I help you? Teacher, no sabemos el significado de by the way. By the way, eh? sí, por cierto, cuando por la, por change la. the topic, uh -huh. para cambiar de oh. tema, by the way, por cierto. Por cierto, soy quien, ah, al cambiar de tema, digamos. Yes, when you change topic. Ok, cuando estamos hablando de, acerca de algo, pero cambiamos la conversación. Mm -hmm. Exactly. By the way, ok. Yeah. Yes, ok. Ya read the conversation. Ya okay. practicamos, teacher. Eh, vamos, si gusta, cambiamos los personajes para que sigamos practicando. Vaya, vaya. Hoy yo soy Kevin. Ok. Uh -huh. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, yeah, I do. I usually come here at 10 o'clock. Really? What time do you go to work? So, so do you usually come to gym at, in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come here at 10. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am a chef. I work at the Pink Elephant. That's my favorite restaurant. By the way, I'm Kevin. I see. Lo volvemos a repetir. Yeah, viceversa. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come here at 10 o'clock. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5.
Okay, thank you people for practicing with a partner. Remember it's important, right? To practice your pronunciation. Good, so um, in this conversation, we can see some yes, no questions and also some WH questions. If, for example, the yes, no question is, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Okay. Do you usually come to the gym in the morning? The answer must be yes or no, because it's a yes, no question, right? So the answer is, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. So um, what is the structure for yes, no question? Can somebody tell me? Auxiliary verb. Okay, the auxiliary do or that, depending on the subject. Auxiliary do and then? Subject. 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 We have an adverb here, but this Frequency is verb. the verb and? Complement. The complement, exactly, very nice. And can you tell me what are the WH questions in this conversation? What time do you go to work? Exactly, that is one. Another one? When do you get home at night? Exactly, and the last? What do you do exactly? Very good, excellent. And very good. excellent, excellent. Okay, let's go. Next. I'm going to explain the propositions of time. Is is general, very general on specific, but as is more, more specific. So we use in when we mention the month, the years, the season, uh, the times of the day, okay? For example, in June, in February, in January, in December, in 1990, in 1993, in 2023, in the winter, in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, sorry, in the past, in the future, okay? On a specific day or specific day and time. On Tuesday, on Tuesday morning, on Tuesday afternoon, on Tuesday evening, on Tuesday night. And as is more more specific, for example, at noon, at noon yesterday, at noon tomorrow, at night time, up to o'clock, at midnight, at present, at the same time, up the weekend at Christmas or Easter, okay? And you will see it or you will understand better in this pyramid. In this pyramid goes from the general to more specific, right? In, on, at. At is very, very specific. So we have, for example, in use for weeks months, years, decades, and centuries. For example, into week, in July, in May, in 1970, in 1981, in the 80s, in the 1800s. On Friday, on Thursday, on Wednesday, on my birthday, on May 7th, 1964. Hours we use at. At 5 p.m., at 12 o'clock, at 7 a.m., at 9 p.m., etc. But we use in when we say in five minutes, in one hour, in two days, in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, at night. And in the next slide, you can see it also more specific. At for times of the day, meal time holidays, some expression. 
in for months, seasons, years, decades, centuries, long periods, parts of the day, on for a specific days, for dates, parts of a specific day. Okay. I will send you this on your WhatsApp group so you can have this, this information for you to, to practice or to study, for you to study. You can have this information for you to study. And right now, guys, we're going to take some time uh, to practice, to practice the use of these prepositions, OK? So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you to answer some questions. And you have to use the correct prepositions. The first question is, what time do you go to bed? Okay, for at example, night. I go to bed at uh, 10.40 p.m. Okay, what time do you go to bed? Use preposition, use a, answer with a complete sentence or full sentence and use preposition of time, please. Okay, Christopher says, I go to the bar, I go to the bar, or, I, or you go to the bed <laughs> at 10 p.m. Or you can say, I go to bed after the class. You can use the expression after. <laughs> okay, please people, write your sentences in the chat, participate. Your participation is important in this, in this course. I go to bed at midnight. Wow, that's very late, Eric. Why, Eric? Why do you go to bed at midnight? Porque este, después de la clase me quedo un poco tarde haciendo unos asuntos académicos. Ah, okay. Okay, um, okay, and Manuel, I was born on February. Okay, Manuel, you are using on. Braulio, I go to church at 9 p.m., very late. But you are not at church in this moment, you are here in the class. <laughs> My question was, what time do you go to bed? I go to the bed at 11. I do homework in the evening. Okay. My next question is, please focus on the question. When, when is your day off? When is your day off? When is your day off? You to so the end English. When is your day off? X on Monday, on Saturday, on Friday. When is your day off? My day off is on Sundays, on Saturdays and Sundays, or you can say on weekends, Eric, on weekends. Hey, Christopher, I don't have a day off. Okay. Emmanuel has Thursdays and Fridays. I have two days off, on Thursdays and Fridays. 
My day off depends on my schedule work. My day off is on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Try to use the prepositions. Another question. What time do you have your lunch? Or when is your lunch time? When is your lunch time? What time do you have for your lunch? At 12? At 12? At 12 p.m.? Okay, or you can say at noon. Al mediodía, at noon. I have lunch at 3 p.m. Wow, I'm going make that. It's very late. Why is it so late? Jennifer, my lunch is at 1 p.m. Okay. My lunch time is at 2 p.m. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Now, another question. When is your next vacation? When is your next vacation? Okay, Emmanuel, you're the waiter. When is your next vacation? My next vacation is in April. Okay, so when people say my next vacation is on in in April. When we just mentioned the month. In my next vacation is in April. I have, I don't have a next vacation. I don't have, Claudia, I don't have. Okay, another question. Okay, I have another question. When is Father's Day? When is Father's Day in El Salvador? When is Father's Day in El Salvador? It's on June 17th. On June 17th. Oh, Christopher will go to Colombia in his next vacation. That's great. Yeah, the question is there. When is Father's Day? Is on June 17th, on June 17th. Cuando tenemos una fecha exacta, usamos la preposición on. Ok, on June 17th. Ok, another question. When were you born? Cuando naciste? When were you born? Para contestar decimos, I was born. I was born on February 17th, 1993. Okay, a specific date. Elix, okay, my birthday is in April. If we mention only only the month in my my I was born in February. I was born in December. But if you mention the the month and the day, you have to use the preposition on. I was born on June twenty seventh, but Christopher doesn't want to to say the year. <laughs> I was born on April 19, I was born in January. If you want to mention only the year, which preposition I will use? In, I was born in 1993. 
I was born April 5th, 1992. Okay. Excellent. Another question. And let me see. What time do you wake up on Sundays? What time do you wake up on Sundays? Anna, I wake up at 7 a.m. or p.m. <laughs> on Sundays. I wake up at 9 p.m. 9 a.m. Okay, Emmanuel. That's nice. Well, remember that when we mention the days and months, we use capital letters. Okay, capital letters. Sunday. Monday. I wake up at 6 p.m. Eric, that's very late. I wake up at at 6 a.m. on Sundays, I have classes on Sundays in the morning. I have class on Sunday morning. I wake up at 6 a.m. during the week. I wake during weekdays. I wake up at 6 a.m. Okay, but on Sundays, 6 p.m., Irma, why? Why 6 p.m.? 6 de la tarde. <laughs> Okay, interesting questions, answers, interesting answers. <laughs> okay, another question. When do you have a cup of coffee? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, a specific time, 2 p.m., what time do you? Have a cup of coffee, or when do you have a cup of coffee? Dorivel, you wake up, I guess, seven a.m on Sundays. Jessica has a cup of coffee in the morning before the gym. At 4 p.m. every day. <laughs> Do you eat bread or a pastry, Christopher, with your coffee? Okay, Claudia Maria says in the morning. That's nice. I have a cup of coffee in the morning, in the afternoon at 5 p.m. Okay. That is great. Very nice. Very nice. I have a coffee always in the morning. Okay, I always have a cup of coffee in the morning. Very good. And the last question, when do you eat pupusas? A Starbucks coffee, okay, Braulio. <laughs> when do you eat pupusas? In the morning or in the evening or only on weekends? Okay, Andrea, you two put on weekends. Excellent. On weekends, that's great. <laughs> Carlos, I use two every day, every time I can. That's nice. Only on weekends, every day, at any time, all the time. <laughs> nice, very nice. Okay, people. So today we studied the prepositions of time, okay? 
Tomorrow we are going to study uh, just no questions in the simple present, simple present statements, affirmative and negative. We are going to practice that. And also we are going to continue with the prepositions of time or expressions of time. We have some time expressions, for example, um, early or late, early, temprano, late, tarde. Okay. We have some expressions with time. Spend time significa eh, pasar tiempo con, use time in a particular way. For example, I spend time with my family every day. Lose time, use more time for the, something than you plan. Lose time, que perdió tiempo. ¿Por qué? Le tocó más o le tomó más tiempo de lo que había planeado. Waste time, desperdiciar el tiempo. Use time in a way that is not useful. Save time, use less time for something that you plan. Ahorrar tiempo. Save time. Okay. Now I would like a volunteer to tell me, what did you learn today? Give me an example. Tell me what you like in this class and what do you need to practice? Okay, do we have, do we have any volunteer or victim? Hello. Teacher, I need to practice um, um, the verb um, auxiliar. ¿Cómo se llama? Auxiliar, ¿verdad? Yes, auxiliary. Okay. <laughs> Today I learned about time inspection. Which one? Where is that? One example is I wake up at 6 a.m. One activity I like was text and I sentence in the group and I need to practice time expression in general. Thank you, Christopher. Great, thank you. I like to listen to your opinions, guys. That's important. Uh, somebody else? This is the moment in which you can tell me what do you need to practice because uh, I can include that in the next class. Teacher, in my case, um, I learned about a proposition time, but I need to practice more about them. Okay, excellent, Jessica. Thank you for your opinion. Okay, if we don't have more, then I'm going to take the last attendance. So please be ready to say present or here. Remember, remember guys, that it's important to, to attend every class because you know, this is a, um, a program in which you need to have at least 80% of the attendance. Okay? Al menos el 80% de asistencia. Y he notado que han habido varias ausencias. También, no sé si saben, pero cada minuto que usted está conectado es, eh, es ahorita. Es decir, si usted solo se conectó 30 minutos, este, hay una persona en Safor que coloca que usted solo estuvo conectado 30 minutos y entonces ahí se le van acumulando y eso puede ir restándole al 80% de su asistencia. Aunque haya asistido a las 16 clases, pero si no se conectó las horas completas, ahí se le va restando. Entonces eso, ¿verdad? También recordarles de avanzar lo más que puedan en las plataformas. Hay que ir trabajando en la plataforma, ir al día. Siempre reciben recordatorios, también tener su nombre completo y la cámara encendida lo más que se pueda, ¿verdad? Menos que haya una razón grande, 
este, está bien si está apagada, pero de lo contrario debe estar encendida. ¿Ok? Bueno, ahora sí, voy a tomar la última asistencia de esta noche y empezamos con Alejandro Jovel Cartagena. Alejandro. Ok. Eh, Tenemos a Ana Elizabeth García. Present. Ok, thank you, Ana. Andrea Sánchez. Present, teacher. Betania López. Present, teacher. Braulio Velázquez. Present, teacher. Carlos Martínez. Here I am, teacher. Ok, Claudia María García. Present, teacher. You, y Claudia Yesenia Ebra. Christopher Raúl Peña. I'm here. Damaris Isabel Castellano. Me parece que tuvo ella como algún problema, ¿verdad? De conexión. Denis Gutiérrez. Doribel Arelí Arianza. Present teacher. Me disculpo porque me agarró la tarde, venía manejando, no podía ingresar. Ok, very bien. Elisa Andoval. Present. Ok. Emanuel Portales. Present. Eneida Ramírez. Eric Herrera. Present. Thank you. Fernando Mendoza. Irma Segura. Present. Thank you. Irma Zuleima. Present teacher. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño. Janet Rosibel. Present teacher. Jennifer Marisol. Present. Eh, Jessica Susana. Present teacher. Jimmy Ramos. Ok. Recuerden, chicos, que tenemos clase el día de mañana, ¿ok? So, don't forget to connect. <laughs> you had your break yesterday, but you have a class tomorrow. Another thing, ¿quién hizo la tarea? Who did the homework? Yo. Ay, pues no. me la han enviado. ¿Por dónde, teacher? Por WhatsApp, grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, yo le, yo le... ¿Como mensaje o como en Word? No, pueden, pueden tomar una captura de pantalla o una fotografía, se lo hicieron en el cuaderno, o pueden escribirlo como mensaje. ¿Ok? Yo, ah, lo, okay. yo, lo, yo lo envié como mensaje, pero pensé que quizás no, y lo borré otra vez. <risa> sí vi que alguien lo mandó. Yo. A veces no puedo contestar en el momento que lo envían, pero sí, luego yo lo voy a revisar. Así es que no, no problem. In the group, sí, lo tengo. Pro, no vi que lo había enviado, ajá, pero no. Aquí lo tengo. Aquí lo tengo. Lo, de nuevo lo enviaré. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces manden sus preguntas. WH questions and answers. Y eh, tomorrow we are going to eh, have a review of the simple present, affirmative, negative statements and questions. And um, uh -huh. and I you will have a homework for the weekend. Do you have any questions? No. No, no questions, teacher. No, teacher. No? Okay. Do you want to no. go to sleep? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Rest well and have a good night. See you tomorrow. And don't forget. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you and see you. Bye. 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 Bye.